would come in the final days. Knowing God has held you in reserve for nearly 6,000 years. You have been with you. Are a marked generation. Mark generation. Mark generation. The birth at this particular time was for God the has saved for the final inning an army you, you must be prepared to meet your oh, God. youth of the noble birth. You're part of the Lord's royal army. army. There are things for each of you to do that no one else can do. You are preserved as well as your special world. You, you, you. Me? Brothers and sisters, whenever Jesus Christ was on the cross and he looked up and said, Father, why hast thou forsaken me? He hurt. He could sense that the Father wasn't looking at him, wasn't looking upon him. Not that he had did nothing wrong, he had did the greatest thing ever. But Jesus had to do this on his own. And I, for the last three days, I'm nobody special, but I see things happen for a reason. For the last three days, guys, I've had my own trials. Last three days, I've been tempted and tested by the devil. I've been held down while awake. I've been talked to. I've been tempted. Why not do what you want will, they say to me. Why not do this? Why not go have sex with this girl in dreams? Why not go do this? And I rebuke it. I rebuke him. And I call on the Lord, Jesus Christ. And I, I call to my Father, and I glorify him, and I praise him, and I tell him how much I love him how much I can't wait, and how obedience is the first law of heaven. Without obedience, we are nothing. We show our love to our Father by keeping His commandments. The point I was trying to make with Christ uh, asking the Father why He had forsaken Him is uh, I felt forsaken for the last three days. And I was kind of like, you know, I, I rebuke and I praise God, and usually the Spirit would be so strong, I'd just be in amazement, but it just, I felt like I was on my own. And... And I thought to myself, okay, guys, think about this. Whenever Jesus Christ was on the cross and he had felt forsaken by the Father, what's the next thing that happened, guys? He gave up the ghost and he flew into heaven, right? So I just had my three days of testing here. So hopefully, just like the Savior flew into heaven after his trial on the cross, I'll get to fly into heaven because after having my little three days of temptation, maybe it's symbolic. Maybe the Lord wanted me to feel like I was forsaken. That way, I could be even more glorified in, the, in heavens because I passed tests that were given to me. You know, maybe Satan said, "Look, let me have him without your Holy Spirit interfering for a couple of days, and he will rebuke you." But they don't know that we are a chosen generation. We are the noble sons and daughters of our, of our heavenly Father. When they do these type of things, it only makes us stronger. It only brings us closer to Him. So after these three days, guys, then finally during the day today, I started getting some flash dreams, you know, and uh, some really interesting flash dreams at that, and I'll try to get to that right now. Okay, so the first flash dream I call it a whirlwind flash dream. Now, flash dreams, guys, are shorter. They're not like big, long dreams, but they still make a point. Um, it's, it's like what I'm seeing in my head as a movie. They're real short, usually. Uh, I, I saw a, a town or a city next to the water. All of a sudden, I saw whirlwinds, guys. They started to pick people up and like toss them left and right up in the air. Then I saw stuff flying everywhere. These people were walking as a normal bright day. They were walking kind of was like a town or a city next to the water dock or whatever. And they were walking and then I see people, people getting picked up and thrown everywhere. So it was like it wasn't a, it wasn't a it wasn't a hurricane type of wind. It wasn't a uh, it wasn't a, um, a volcano. It was a different type of wind. Okay, the next, I, I wake up, you know, I, like a usual, go use the bathroom, I go back to bed, and boom, another one kicks in. I saw uh, somebody, try to for, somebody trying to forcibly force a huge injection, the kind of injection where you can see like the fluid for like three inches in the, in the injection. You know, something like if you're watching me where a guy would do like a big shot of heroin or something. It looked like that. And this guy was getting injected with this stuff. Uh, I was, I was trying to remember the color of it. It's the way I could use it as a reference for later, but I had a hard time. I said tan and uh, and, and um, it's between a tan and a Mountain Dew color, but I erased that earlier because I'm not quite sure if that was accurate or not. Okay, then I saw some strange stuff. Now, I'm going to need your help on this, guys. Uh, after I saw... That could be something to do with the market of these two guys. People being forced to be uh, injected. Then I heard a voice that said, They shall stage here. Okay, I heard that. I wake up, I write it down, go back to sleep. I hear, 
I saw like these, another flash stream comes on me, and I see these kind of sage green to green airplanes. Uh, they kind of look foreign to me, but I know we, we have uh, airplanes right that are green, but but these particular ones look sage green, uh, a little more old timey, I guess. I'm not sure, but they were sage green to green planes, a bunch of them. And then I saw a bunch of troops walking towns. Now as these troops were walking to town, uh, my eyes focused on two people leading the troops. Now the two people leading all these troops in these green planes were American. Look, they looked American. They had uh, looked like men in black, you know, but they had the black. Like the FBI would have like the black sunglasses on. We can't see their eyes. One guy actually had like curly, curly hair. Not long hair, but like not almost so shorter, like that curly hair guy. Like he wasn't no short hair cut guy. He didn't wear no, neither one of them wear a hat. But they were leading a group of people, and I'm curious to know because I didn't see all that. That I didn't see this too clear, as if they were leading the people. Like, were they involved with these green planes? So if this green plane is a country, you guys can help me figure out what countries have green planes like that, almost green, sage green. Uh, now, whether it be China or South Korea or, or, or us or whatever. But I, all, all I saw was that the participation by the American military, our our government, is what I was seeing leading them that's what I got they were leading them and then next uh, flash vision for you guys I know some of you guys like my flash visions I saw two huge dogs now these two huge dogs they go to chase me so I'm running two two dogs big dogs so I run and I get on top of a huge pole now guys if you remember from some other dream it's part of the wedding custom uh, the Jewish wedding customs, they have big long poles and they light them on fire. Or they light like, like candles or they light a lantern on top of them on fire. Remember guys, I had a wedding dream where we didn't know what the poles were. We found out they were, it's a, it's a Jewish wedding custom. They would have poles and they have lanterns on top of fire. Okay, so anyway. So I get on top of this big pole, which can signify the rapture after these dogs chase me. I'm up there, but as I'm up there on this rapture pole, that's what I call it, the rapture pole now. The, uh, I'm noticing that these there's more than one... <clears throat> And these poles are being used to observe aliens. So we're looking around and we're looking at alien creatures, guys, running around. So these rapture poles are observed to see aliens. So maybe that's the connection. Aliens, rapture, you know, same time. Okay. Um, what do I have here next? Okay. Uh, yeah, this is just a little short thing. But for some reason, I'm in another school. That same school I talked to you guys at about a couple of days ago and I pull up to the same exact school again not having no having no clothes on trying to get dressed no idea what that is all right so uh, let me find some more here um, all right so this is a good one I call this the blue ladies I saw a few blue ladies the color blue sitting around and relaxing with these little uh, leaf type hats I believe they were sitting with their feet in the water and I was looking this this I'm gonna tell you the dream would happen they're sitting there they're playing in the water with their feet they're ladies they're like bright looking ladies but they're having fun in the water and on their hat it's like leaves like pretty little leaves and stuff and like kind of out naturey type leaves but these people uh, are blue these women are the color blue light blue and during this though, I kept looking because I kept looking and I kept looking for axes. I do not know why, but in my dream, I remember that in this scene, particular scene, I was I was looking at their hats and I was looking to see if axes were to go to chop their heads off. Uh, but every time I go to look for an axe, it's kind of like one disappear, and the, the scene would be okay. So there's some kind of manipulation going on there. But um, in the next one, guys, I call this uh, the Rapture Flash Dream. All right. So the, I saw I saw an angel drop down. He put his arm uh, around the back of a person and took off into the uh, into the heavens. Then I saw another angel drop down, get another person, pick her up, fly her to the heavens. I saw another angel get down, drop down. It's kind of like they're all dropping down, putting their hands behind the back of people, and they would fly off into the heavens with them. And then I, there's another thing I saw was um, this is really this this is one I am really debating and sharing with you guys. Because I do not set dates, and I am not saying that the rapture is tomorrow, so do not. But I want to tell you guys, because we're all great friends and brothers here, what exactly I saw. So I'm trying to think here, is this symbolic, or did the, the evil one try to slip in a quick fast flash stream on me? Uh, but it's kind of like a rapture thing, so I was like, okay, I'll share it. I saw two men 
sitting and talking on a swing. As they're sitting there and talking, guys, I'm looking at them. As I'm looking at them, one of them, the one to the right, looks at me and says, Who's going home tomorrow? I said, huh? He looks at me again, he goes, his hands, he goes, Who's going home tomorrow? I'm like, I shook my shoulders like, I don't know. And as he goes to say it a third time, I wake out of this flash dream. And as I get up, get up, I'm like, who's going home tomorrow? Like, are you kidding me? What are you trying to say here? Am I going home tomorrow? Or are you just trying to, you know, get me discouraged because it's not going to fall through? And I'm, uh, you know, so that's what I was thinking when I saw that. But uh, that's not all, guys. I had a um, part of these three days of temptations I went through. I, the devil was in it. He, I saw a man. I believe he was a devil. He started showing me just like he did in Jesus when Jesus was on the, uh, on the mount for 40 days, guys. And he was showing Jesus all these kingdoms and saying, uh, uh, you know, just worship me and I'll give you all this. I had that similar experience. And I'm not saying that prideful. I wish I would never even have that experience. I am nobody. But I had the experience. The man, uh, he was showing me the devil. He was showing me, looked like, look like a regular man, showing me all these different scenes on the earth. Uh, and, and he was trying to tell me, uh, as he was showing me all these different scenes, he was saying to me, victory is now mine. And he showed me other scenes like, now victory is mine, victory is mine. Like the stage is set, and now victory is mine, he was saying. So the devil was thinking he's going to have some victory somehow. We all know how this t uh, turns out. Then, guys, this could be another reason why I got three days of temptation and attacks. I saw a CERN hole again. I saw a jagged looking hole, guys. Jagged looking hole. And from underneath, I saw one demon jump out the hole, like a big old hop out the hole. Then boom, I saw another demon come up, boom, hop out the hole. And then another demon come up, pop, pop, out of, pop up out of the hole. They were just taking their turn, guys. It was a jagged hole, like kind of like not a perfect round hole. It was like jagged. And they were taking their time, one by one, popping out of these holes, guys. So I'm knowing this is a bunch of stuff that's going on right now. Another thing. Uh, I saw, no idea what this means, I call, I call it the, the pink dress uh, flash dream. I saw a lady in a long pink dress and pink head covering and she was talking to somebody guys and uh, as she looked at me, remember she's wearing a long wedding style pink dress and pink head, head covering and as she looked at me and I went to look at her face, her face tur just turned into one uh, perfect bright star like a star like you would put a sticker but it's a perfectly like glowing white star it was her face so a pink head covering pink dress and body a white star face so that's what I saw um, um, then I don't know something was going on where like somebody was in my head like, something about a salmon something about fishing and salmon uh, I don't remember a lot of these dreams they try to, the holy angels try to teach me a lot in my dreams guys but I'm, I'm pretty slow when it comes to a lot of this stuff. I wish I wasn't. I pray that the Lord would make me not be slow. Um, guys, I did get another prophecy here uh, that um, that I was told that you know how in the Bible it says that he gives power to the image of the beast? Well, I was told that the image of the beast, the, the only reason it's going to have power is because the image will be a demon. So a demon gives power to the image of the beast and will be the one talking. A demon will talk as the image okay then I saw the number 910 well these were the flashings for the night but I like to hear what you guys are thinking about you know this, this thing's not over yet but I'd like you to you know comment below and tell me what you're feeling in your life have you given up all your greens got I mean your gray area guys have you totally submitted to the Lord yet and if it's too personal email it to me or send me a private message and tell me I don't care how gross it is or how bad of a sin it is send me a private message and we can talk about it and if you don't know what's, if something's a sin please ask me and I'll tell you um, you have any idea how, how much the Lord loves you he loves you so much so many of our brothers and sisters are so worried about losing their family but we must accept the fact that as much as we love our families and we want them to turn to, to, to turn to Jesus Christ and to make the rapture then how much more does our Father and Savior want them because they love them way more than we love them so they're going to do everything they can whether that be bringing if he has to bring a plague on them to get them to repent of their sins and by golly that's what he has to do 
They are not the barley harvest. They are. The, they may be the uh, wheat, and they may be the uh, the grape. They may have to get squished on a little bit before they uh before they repent of their sins. But in uh but as long as they're there with you. In this in in heaven, and repent of their sins, and it doesn't matter how they got there, people. This is this is only that they got there. We are in the last days, last days. I mean, really, probably the last days, last days, last weeks. I doubt months, people. I doubt it. I really do. So yeah, brothers and sisters, we need to really find out who them uh them green plains are for. That would pretty pretty much show us what country might invade us there. But I did see that Americans were, were taking part with them Green Plains. Or at least leading them. Or co-opting or co it, one of the two. I want you guys to, to really listen to this song that is playing underneath this video. Because it's a song that speaks truth to why we are here on this earth. That you, my brothers and sisters, were saved for over 6,000 years. You were living with Heavenly Father of Spirits, and He saved His most valiant, His most honest and courageous brothers and sisters, because He knew that the devil was going to have His strongest people here right now on the earth, ready to do battle. So what did God do? He held His most elect, His most elect children back to this very hour. Because He knew all the videos, all the TV shows, all the rap music, all the sex, all the porn, all this and that. He had to send his elect. If he didn't send his elect, we wouldn't, we won't, we wouldn't be able to make it, brothers and sisters. If you take somebody from Moses' time, they didn't even have you could bring them here and they're and they're watching for the first time seeing porn on the TV, or they're sitting in these hot girls, you know, or uh, I'm telling you, half of them, most of them probably wouldn't even make it in our time. If you take us to a time we'd be bored out of our minds, but if you took us to most of this time when we lived in a desert where there was no TV, I mean, how much trouble are we going to get into? We go push over some cows or something? I mean, <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying it's like a lot harder in our time period right now, guys. And please, guys, start writing me, start sending me uh, personal messages, and like I really want to know what your gray areas are. I want you to send me private messages. Or email me and let me know if they are so I can tell you if yes or no this is, oh don't worry about it or yeah worry about it and then the big thing guys is you guys have got to forgive yourself forgive yourselves a lot of you got too much anxiety way too much too much anxiety and you're letting it control you and that's what Satan's plan is he's gonna make you feel not worthy you know if you if he, if he can make you feel not worthy he'll get you to quit he'll get you to give up all right but remember that's that that video I played for you guys a couple days ago about the race, no, it's not important how many times you fall, brothers and sisters, but after you fall, it's important that you get yourself up. You pick yourself back up and you finish the race. Father's just going to be just probably happier with you than the guy who won first place. If you come in dead last, but you picked yourself back up and you fought and you fought and you finished that race for your father, oh wow, you're showing your father that, that you went through hell on earth. But you did it for him. And he'll love you even more for that, brothers and sisters. He'll love you even more. I love you. I want you to uh, really listen to, again, I think I already said this, but really listen to this, uh, the music in the background here. I'm, I'm going to play one or two parts a little louder than the others. And I'm going to have the other one as a, like a back, back song. But I want you to uh, listen to the words. Because it's talking about you, brothers and sisters. It's talking about how important you are to be here right now. Right now on this earth. You are needed. You are saved. You are special. You are God's warriors. God's noble warriors saved for 6,000 years. You had to be held back. And then God says, let them go. Let my warriors go. Let them. Oh. You guys are very powerful. Very powerful. Noble sons and daughters of God. Don't let the devil think you're, you're any worse. You're any. Don't let him think he has anything on you because he, he doesn't. He doesn't at all. And I love all of you. Please leave your comments below, your suggestions below, and please help me out on uh, some of these flash streams and give me your opinions, uh, especially on the the black, uh, the, the, the why the white woman was wearing pink. I think there's two flash streams in there, right? When they're wearing pink stuff, I don't know why why, why pink instead of white, and then the green planes, uh, and why was the guy 
why did he keep asking me what I'm doing tomorrow? Like, no, he asked me why I'm going. Uh, he just asked me, you going home tomorrow? You going home tomorrow? Uh, I don't. I'm not a date setter, and I don't believe nothing's happening tomorrow. So, what was, what's up with that? That'd be crazy if it did happen tomorrow, right? But I'm not a date setter, and I, uh, so I'm trying to figure out what that was, if it was symbolic or not. But again, I love all of you. Leave your comments below, like the video, and I say these things in the name of Jesus Christ, Amen. You've come in the final days. Oh, when God has held you in reserve for 6,000 years, you have been with you. Must be prepared to meet your God. Oh, youth of the noble birth. You're part of the Lord's royal army. The army. There are things for each of you to do that no one else can do. You can preserve as well as your special world. You, 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 you. Me?